Hey guys, this is Franco from IT and Cybersecurity Journey. And just as the title says, this video is going to be my plan um, to get to an either cybersecurity role, uh, a more of a senior administrator role, or a um, overseas government contracting role in the next 18 to 24 months. I think preferably I'm going to go the overseas government contracting route uh, because of the money. So let's get to it. So, you know, these are some of my goals that I set at the beginning of the year, um, career related goals. And so, as you can see, I have already reached, in my opinion, the hardest one, um, which was getting my Red Hat Certified System Administrator uh, certification. And so, if you follow me on the channel, uh, the last video I posted kind of went through some tips and tricks on passing the exam. Um, highly suggest it for anyone who is looking to study for this exam and go ahead and you know take it and next I plan on getting my CYSA plus um, I think the long form version of this cert is the cybersecurity analyst certification I think that's what it's called um, for the cybersecurity skills but more so because since I'm already in the government space um, you know they go by a set of I believe it's guidelines um, known as the DOD uh, 8140, I believe, uh, or 8570. Uh, I think they're looking to move it to 8570, but I think 8140 is the active one, if I'm correct. I could be wrong, but I, I think that's how the situation is as of now. So with the Security Plus, I am at IAT Level 2. Um, I don't know what that you know, is an abbreviation for, but uh, I know for, that that qualifies me to get a clearance, which I am in the process of getting. Um, so yeah, a lot of places won't get you a clearance unless you have a security plus if you plan on working for the government. So next, I plan on getting the CYSA plus because it actually opens you up to higher paying roles in GovTech. Um, and then you know, after I get that, what I plan on doing is improving my Python skills. So I think I spoke about this on the um, improving my Python and engineer slash developer skills. So I know a lot of you guys know that I, I, I was going to WGU for a computer science degree. I still plan on going back uh, when I have the time for it. Um, but for now, I can still at least work on my engineer slash developer skills. And one way of doing that is... Uh, I think I spoke about this uh, in a past video, but one of the books I'm reading is the Python Crash Course for Beginners. I recommend this for anyone who is trying to learn Python, as long as you know programming concepts pretty decently. Um, this book is really fun. So like I tell you guys all the time, my favorite way to learn is project-based learning or uh, learning by doing. So... This book has a lot of projects and exercises to teach you Python loops uh, and such. Then, you know, uh, this that book is also going to help my engineer and developer skills, but I have a more a book more specific to my role uh, that I picked up at Barnes & Noble a couple months back because I knew the type of work I was getting into. So I can't really speak to, I don't know what I can say about the role that I'm in right now, but I don't want to like say too much and get in trouble. So, so just one thing I'll say is I do do like a bit of DevOps work. So I picked up this at Barnes & Noble, DevOps for the Desperate. Um, I haven't really read much of it, uh, but it goes over things like DevOps things, right? So like Ansible and uh, um, automation, continuous integration, continuous deployment, right? CI, CD, stuff like that. Um, so... I think once I finish reading both books, I'll probably make a book, uh, make a video reviewing. Uh, a vi I think I'll do a video review for both books, but I, I can for sure say because I've gone through about halfway the Python Crash Course book, uh, and I plan on rereading it right now from the start. But I definitely recommend to anyone read Python Crash Course for beginners. It's awesome, like it, he. This th this book, especially the third edition, the author Eric M M Math Maths, I believe that's his name, M Mathis, um, 
he does an amazing job of explaining programming concepts at the same time he is teaching you Python. So, and if you plan on using Linux, you need to either learn Bash or Python. There's no way about it. You gotta learn if you want to get paid. If you want to, you want skills to pay the bills. You need to learn some programming. Programming is gonna take you far. Um, there's no doubt about it. Um, I, I wouldn't be scared about it. Python's really easy. And yeah, so, and then for network, what I mean by that, I don't mean like information technology networking. I mean networking with professionals, networking with people. Um, specific like at my job. Um, because I'm blessed to be in a more corporate environment uh, compared to my last job. And that allows me to network with more like-minded people. Uh, so, like, I work on a pretty big team. I've gotten to know my team pretty well. They're a great group of guys, you know, and I can't wait to meet more people on the team because it's a pretty big, the project that we're working on, it's pretty big. Uh, it's a pretty big, a lot of people. It's a lot of people. I mean, I think I've heard, I think the number... Like over 300 has been thrown out, but I think it's probably more than it. It's quite a bit of people. And so, and that's just one project. That's not the company. Um, so there's a lot of roles. I've seen pes pen tester roles, Linux administrator roles. So there's a lot of opportunity in networking and, you know, kind of showcasing your skills. And I think besides that, just, you know, generally trying to, you know, do a good job at work, standing out by, you know, solving problems because at the end of the day, that's what gets us all paid is we all solve a problem and we bring a solution and we get paid for that, right? Um, I kind of treat myself as like, you know, I'm the Franco company and I'm just providing my knowledge, so my services to the highest bidder, which is whoever pays me the most, right? I, I kind of look at it like that. Like I, I kind of think of my career as like, just a long game of me pretty much being me as in my comp like i'm a company and i'm just interacting with clients the companies that hire me to do a good job for them uh that's just the way i look at it so yeah um anyways that's all for now just wanted to give a quick update uh kind of want to get in the habit of uploading regularly again so that's kind of why i wanted to make this video as well um but enough about me. I want to hear about you guys. Um, I love reading your guys' comments, you know, especially when uh, I help someone break into tech and they they put it down in the comments. And I, I had a I had somebody I don't remember their name, but somebody had told me that they you know I was inspired an inspiration to them and I helped them get a job in uh, technology. And I was I mean it was just awesome to read stuff like that. So I want to help you guys. I I love helping you guys. So with you know the lessons i've learned so far and you know many more to come that is so uh put it down in the comments um you know and i want to connect with some of you guys you know i'll put my link in down below i'll put my x down below uh when, you know when you when, when you hit me up on linkedin please try to put a message that you're coming from the channel because i don't just accept like any random connection request I kind of have to know that you're from the channel. I can usually spot you guys because you guys are usually from WGU. Um, and you guys are coming from WGU to, you know, uh, connect with me, you know. But I, if you can, like, leave a message, a uh, connection message saying, hey, you know, I found, I found your YouTube and, you know, I wanted to connect. Uh, I watch you on YouTube, you know, just something like that. And uh, I'll gladly accept the request because I have a lot of requests and I try to get to all of them. But. It's really difficult um and it's really it's easier I'd, I'd rather just go hit uh accept the connection request from people that support me you know support the channel and i support them by giving them the lessons i've learned you know um so it's mutual benefit um so yeah i want to hear what your guys's goals are you know we're a little bit over halfway 2024 2025 is just right over the horizon I think next year is going to be a big year for technology. Uh, I think the next couple of years are, especially after this CrowdStrike incident. You know, you know, my opinion on this CrowdStrike incident is that I think it highlights the need for tech professionals, and it has shown just how greedy companies have gotten by laying people off. You know, because an event that could have been resolved probably the same day of the amount of support that was needed to resolve the incident was actually employed. 
you know, you know, it just shows the greed, you know, they don't want to hire people, even though there's these fake job openings, you know, and then now there's all this stuff that remote, some remote workers are, uh, uh, there's North Korean um, hackers posing as remote workers and then working for U.S. companies, stealing people's salary, their social, it's crazy, it's really crazy, so, you know, I think we're going to see a big focus on security here in the next couple of years, I think, I think, the opportunity to get into cyber in the next couple of years is going to be huge. I think in tech in general, it's going to be huge. I mean, there's roles out there, man. As long as you, you know, have a project, you know, and I've gone this in my past videos, like once you're in, you're in. Uh, the hard part's getting in. So if you just grind for a year, just focus on getting in. Once you get in, you're in. After that, it's just a waiting game, right? Just getting the experience, getting your skills up. Because there's a huge need for professionals. I mean, a lot. I've, I've seen it firsthand. A lot of places, like, typically don't really pay attention to IT and stuff until shit hits the fan. And it's typically, like, one guy working out of a closet. You know, getting paid, like, getting paid crap. So, um, yeah, that's all, guys, you know. I'd love to hear you guys down in the comments. Please like and subscribe if you like the video. And if you have any video ideas for any future videos, please let me know. Like I said, I'm going to get back to uploading daily. Um, but that's all. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.